Okay, people, this is a video on how to use the new TestNav 8 software that's new 2017. Um, by the way, today is Self Esteem Awareness Day, so we're all supposed to wear tie dyes, that's why the tie dye in the hair. Anyway, um, if you're at our school, you'll have a shortcut on the desktop, the student desktop. So you can go to any um, student desktop and click on Pearson TestNav, TestNav. If you don't have that, you can very easily um, just search. I would go to Google and search uh, Virginia Department of Education, VDOE, V D O E, uh, TestNav 8 practice SOL items, and it'll pop right up, okay? But if you click on this, if you don't have this option, okay, SOL practice items, if you click on that, it'll go right to what you need to go to. But if you don't have it, you can go up here and choose, choose a different customer. Scroll down to Virginia, and then you'll have it, okay? So let's open that up. SOL practice items, we want math, and these are all the SOLs, the practice items for each of the questions on this software. Let's go to geometry, start test now. Sure, I'll agree. This is, nothing, no, this is not like interactive achievement. None of this is saved. They don't know who you are. You haven't logged in. So whatever you do, if you log out, it, it'll just be erased, okay? 29 questions. It says section one, but the geometry test only has one section, so. All right, so this is a standard type of question, technology enhanced question that you will see on the SOL. Make sure you read it carefully. The directions say, drag each selected symbolic representation to the correct box. So your answers are down here, and you will pick those and put them in the right boxes. If you see, I can't really draw on top of this, um, the, only two, the, the, the only tools that are available for this particular question are up here. We have, I um, can't really use the rulers. We've got an inch ruler, and we've got a centimeter ruler, which you can kind of drag around and do whatever you need with. Can't really use the eliminator in this option. And the pointer is where you're gonna, how you're gonna select your answer, okay? So, if and only if, or, and therefore. When you see that therefore, you know you're gonna have to choose one of these two with the three dots. That three dots, that symbol is therefore, okay? Um, and and or, the difference between and and or, I showed you in class, is the and sign. You can make a capital A if you were just draw a line through it. So this is the and, so this is therefore, P and Q, or, but with no therefore, so this is going to be or, and if and only if is the double arrow, okay? So that's how you would answer that question. If you, let's go to the next question, okay. Directions, select the box inside each region you want to select. A star will appear in the box. You read the question, then it says identify each region of the Venn diagram that represents the cell phones that only take pictures and have games, okay? Has it told you how many sections to select? No. You don't know. It hasn't told you. So you could select all of them if you wanted to. See how I clicked on all of them and it took it, okay? Identify, you have to read this a few times. Identify each region of the Venn diagram that represents the cell phones that only take pictures and have games, okay? So I'll leave you to figuring that out. All right, now here's the first question where we have some tools. These tools are only usable in this box, okay? It's called a hotspot, okay? So you can, if you click on the pencil, you can draw. Hello. You can draw in green. If I go to this square and I choose green, I can draw in green if I wanted. I can make that line, those lines a little bit thicker by changing this to the thicker pen and in green, and I can go back and change that to black and do thicker black. If I wanted to, I can erase just one of them, or if I wanted to erase all of them, I can go down here to this trash can and it erases everything. That's a new feature. Um, I'll get to the compass in a minute. Okay, highlighter. If you go down to text, not inside this box, if you go down to text and just click on it and drag, the highlighter gives you a couple of different color options. Okay, I'm going to select blue here, and here I'll select pink. Let's say I don't want that highlighted anymore. I can just highlight it again and delete it. Okay? 
A um, couple other options. Oh, let's go to the eliminator. You probably already know how to use this. If you choose to eliminate an answer, you can't then select that as your answer. Watch. If I try, won't happen. Okay? I have to uneliminate it, and then I can select it as an answer if I want. Okay. A couple other options might be more useful for other uh, questions. Um, I don't know. Some people might like this. It masks all your answers if you want. This, it'll do it for the entire test. Okay? So you can open up the ones you want to look at one at a time. Okay? Um, disable answer masking. Let's say I want to show the line reader. Okay. This also, I can see this will be useful for English. You drag this out a little bit. You could read one line at a time. Okay? So that's an option. All right. All right, this is a technology enhanced question with none of the tools here. Okay, the way that this technology works, probably nobody cares, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, is that if you're gonna select your answer on the actual problem, then you can't also write on top of it. Okay, so that's why you can use some of the tools in some places and other places you can't. Okay, here they want you to select your answer on the grid, so you can't also write on the grid. Okay. Plot a point on the grid other than the point shown. So you are supposed to plot a point on the grid. That's your answer, and you move on. Now let's read the question. You obviously have to read the question. The line on the grid contains points, those two points, negative 4, 7, and 5, negative 8. The point located at 3, 4 is on the grid. Plot another point with integral coordinates. All that means is nice whole numbers. Don't let those words freak you out, okay? With integral coordinates, it just means whole numbers. That lies on a line that passes through the point located at 3, 4 and is parallel to the given line, okay? Parallel lines have the same slopes. So we have to figure out what the slope of this line is. And then, let's say it's, you know, negative 4 thirds, okay? From here, we'd go from this point, we'd go down 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3. We put our answer. That's not the only answer. We could go down another 4 and over 3 and put our answer there. Or we could go over 3 and up 4 and put our answer there. The computer knows all those answers are correct, and it's only going to allow you to uh, plot one point. Okay? So that's that. All right, we have an option to use these again. This type of question says quadrilateral QRST is to be reflected over the line y equals negative x. If you don't remember how to graph y equals negative x, you also have a calculator that you've been given for this test. Take out your graphing calculator, press y equals, graph negative x, take a look at the line. Oh yeah, it looks like this. I forgot to show you how to use this tool. If you go to the pencil, and instead of choosing the pencil, choose straight line. There's your y equals negative x. Then you can figure out where does t, t prime is going to be one away from the line, so it's one away on the other side. And that's not, um, it's a one diagonally, if you're counting. All right. So, oh, for this one, you'd select your answers down here. I just have to scroll down to get the other answers. They're down there. Okay? Compass. The compass can only be used inside this circle. See that? Can't go anywhere else. All right? So, for this one, there's no lock on this compass. It's different than the interactive achievement compass and it's different than the one that you use in class. Sorry. So this center is going to allow you to change the size of the radius. This little dotted line is kind of a preview about if you were to stop it there, that's where your circle would go. Okay? So you put your compass, I'm measuring the radius with my compass. That looks about right. Okay? Now when I move my center over to A, you see how it looks like it changes the radius? It doesn't, okay? I know that's confusing. You can go ahead and draw your arcs. I'm just going to go ahead and construct a hexagon here. We'll see how I do. I'm already off. Oh, not that off. Okay, so I'm going to use green. Connect all those vertices of my hexagon. Okay, it's asking for another point on the equilateral triangle, so I'll change my color. 
it's going to be z. You see that? Because the equilateral triangle, we need every other vertex. Shoot, my class is about to start. Nothing I really need to tell you there, or there, or there. Okay, this is the drag and drop. These are what your priests will look like. Notice when you move some um, one of these answers, everything else goes up. This question, wait a second, did I miss something? This, all right, look at this question here. This is number 12. The directions say select the correct answers. Then down here it says, based on the given information, identify the two triangles that may not be similar. So you can only select two answers. If you want to select a third, it won't let you. Okay? Um, you have to unselect something and then select something else. Okay? But this one, same directions, but then it doesn't tell you how many answers you have. So in theory, you could select, you could select all those answers if you wanted to. Okay? That's not right, but it doesn't tell you how many to select. So some tell you how many answers there are and some don't. Anything else? Oh, fill in the blank. If you try to fill something in the blank and you get a weird answer, okay? Like I'm going to type in an X. I just typed in an X. It says you cannot use that character. You get that? It's either because maybe your caps lock is on. Check to see if your caps lock is on. Or you're typing in something that's not part of your answer, like maybe a decimal, okay? Look at the pies in the answers, right? Don't forget sometimes there are pies in answers. Oh, man. Okay, this one, let's say the center is a zero, zero. It's not, okay? But the radius is five. If you go up five, right five, down five, or left five, the computer knows those are all correct answers. Drag and drop. They got to be in the right places, though. You need a piece of graph paper. Here are, you have to find the volumes of all four of these. And then select which two are the same. That. Okay? And this is drag and drop. And we are finished. Last thing I want to show you is the bookmark. You can bookmark a problem and then go to review, just like the previous um, software. We're done. My class is about to start. <laughs>